Welcome back to our series, Tools of the DevOps Trade, where we explore the various tools that help drive successful DevOps practices. In previous videos, we've discussed version control systems and CICD. In this video, we'll explore what infrastructure as code is and understand how all the concepts work together to create a seamless, efficient DevOps environment. First, let's recap how VCS and CICD work in tandem. VCS, which is version control system, enables developers to track and manage changes to their code base, ensuring consistency and collaboration among team members. CICD automates the process of building, testing, and deploying the code changes, making software delivery faster and more reliable. Before we go deeper into infrastructure as code, sometimes referred to as IAC, let's first explore the world of cloud computing, including private and public cloud offerings, and then delve into the concept of infrastructure as code and how it plays a vital role in the modern cloud era. You'll agree with me that in the modern world we are right now, Cloud computing has revolutionized the way businesses and developers manage their IT infrastructure. In the traditional IT setup, organizations had to invest heavily in physical data centers, hardware, and networking equipment. This approach often resulted in high capital expenditures, slow provisioning times, and limited flexibility to scale resources up or down as needed. To overcome these challenges, cloud computing emerged as a powerful alternative offering on-demand, scalable IT resources through the internet. Cloud services are broadly categorized into two types, private and public cloud. Private cloud is a type of cloud infrastructure that is dedicated to a single organization and is typically hosted on-premises or in a private data center. Some organizations offering private cloud services include VMware, vSphere, and OpenStack. Public cloud, on the other hand, is when providers offer shared infrastructure and services that can be accessed by multiple customers over the internet. Examples of public cloud providers include Amazon Web Services, AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. GCP. Both private and public cloud offerings aim to address the challenges of traditional IT setups by providing scalable, on-demand resources and pay-as-you-go pricing model. However, as organizations started to adopt cloud computing, they quickly realized the need for a more efficient way to manage and provision their cloud infrastructure. This is where infrastructure as code comes in. IAC is a powerful approach to managing and provisioning IT infrastructure through code. Rather than using manual processes or traditional configuration management tools, with IAC, you can automate the setup, configuration, and management of your infrastructure, making it more efficient, scalable, and reliable. By leveraging IAC in cloud environment, organizations can accelerate the provisioning and configuration of cloud resources, reducing the time it takes to deploy new applications or environment, ensure consistency and predictability across different cloud environments, minimizing the risk of human error and potential downtime, foster collaboration between development and operation teams enabling them to work together more efficiently and share responsibility for the infrastructure. Optimize cost by automating the scaling and management of resources, ensuring that the organization only pays for what it actually uses. One of the great benefits of adopting IAC is that it allows us to manage and provision cloud infrastructure through code, just as you would with your application code. This is where the other concept, VCS and CICD, comes in. By integrating 
infrastructure as code with a VCS such as Git and implementing CICD, you can create a unified DevOps workflow that treats infrastructure as code just like application code. Now we can store our infrastructure code in the VCS. Just as you store application code in the VCS, you can also store your IAC templates and scripts in the same version control system. This enables versioning, tracking, and collaboration on infrastructure changes. Using CICD pipelines for infrastructure as code, you can create CICD pipelines that trigger on changes to your infrastructure code, ensuring that any modifications are automatically tested and deployed to your cloud environment. This allows you to catch errors early and maintain a reliable infrastructure setup. Collaboration and review. By using a VCS for infrastructure as code, we can now enable collaboration between developers and operations teams, making it easier to review changes, discuss best practices, and share responsibility for maintaining the infrastructure. Now let's talk about some of the popular infrastructure as code tools that can be integrated with version control systems and have a CICD pipelines for them. Terraform, an open source infrastructure as code tool that supports multiple cloud providers and enables to manage infrastructure using a declarative language called HashiCorp configuration language, HCL. AWS CloudFormation. This is a service provided by AWS that allows to define and manage AWS infrastructure using JSON or YAML template. Azure Resource Manager Templates, otherwise known as ARM Template. A service provided by Microsoft Azure that enables to define and manage Azure infrastructure using JSON templates. In conclusion, the combination of VCS, CICD, and IAC allows us to create a powerful integrated DevOps workflow that creates both application code and infrastructure code as first-class citizens. By mastering these tools and techniques, you can streamline your organization's DevOps practices, enhance collaboration, and deliver high quality software and infrastructure faster and more reliably. I hope this has been helpful. I'll see you in the next video.